housing levy maadamu serikali koti zimepinga ingekuwa vizuri wachana nayo wa Kenya sasa hizi hawana shida ya nyumba, wana shida ya chakula matumbo yao ndio inawasumbua zaidi. Wa Kenya wanashindwa vile watapeleka watoto shule. Ungeangalia hizi shida na kama utawasaidia usiwachukulie tax zao. Watu wanalia. Una... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yolemi TV. I hope you well for more of you watching this channel. Now the clergy seems to have woken up from their slumberland. The UDA government was wholly formed by the church and other Kenyan citizens. So the expectations of the church was that William Ruto would listen to them. But nobody would have thought that at one particular time the church would cry foul over decisions that William Samaruto is making. Bufunga Mano Joint Forum for the Religious Organizations faulted the president for disobeying court orders. Every person has an obligation to respect, uphold, and defend the constitution. So the church has come out guns blazing on William Ruto, even going to an extent of telling him that Ume to Sahau, you know, Ume to Sahau, and they have already voiced their concern, saying that there are certain church leaders who are benefiting from this regime and they are in advising William Samoy Ruto. Those are not my words, but those are words from church leaders who convened under the Ufungamano Forum and made the following claims. It is true that uh, uh, we had a lot of hope. Uh, that this one is one of us, a congregation with us every Sunday. They will listen. But then, as things are, uh, that is listening to some church leaders, and maybe church leaders who are telling the president what he wants to hear. Very well. Those are not my words like I was telling you. The church has voiced their concern over what they say is forcing Kenyans to pay housing levy despite the fact that the courts had termed it illegal. So I want us to go further into the statements which church leaders have made. And uh, but before you do that, let me encourage you to please support this channel by subscribing and giving this video a like. So I was telling you about what the church have said. So if those who have been following the news since 7 p.m., you know, the news for the 9 p.m., you must have stumbled upon a story about what the churches are saying. I was looking at a news presentation from Jeff Wenange and uh, I came across the video that I'm about to share with you where the church leaders are complaining to William Samaru to even go into an extent of telling him that you used to listen to us but now you don't listen to us anymore. You know? And the message there from what the church leaders have said Nikama William Ruto, according to them, aliwatumia who climbed the ladder, now amawasahau. That is what they were saying in so many words. Because I talked to a friend of mine who happens to be a doctor at uh, one of the facilities in Pilifi, works for the South County, it's a South County hospital. Now, this friend of mine told me that he saw his face slip with a deduction of the housing levy. So this is to mean that probably the government has decided that whether the courts uh, call it illegal or legal, they will deduct this amount of money from uh, citizens. Yeah. Unajua kuna maswali nyingi sana ambayo atuwezi kujibu. Aya manyumba ya atagawi wa kinanani na njinsigani watalipa pesa ngapi watalipa kwa muda gani the churches are again talking about this matter escalating it further and saying that there is no proper framework on how many uh, times this deduction should be made there is no proper framework on who is going to benefit from this uh, program there is no proper uh, framework on you know so many issues so what I could tell from the church's remarks is that 
the church are not agreeing with William Samuel Uto. That is one thing that I've come across in the video that I've just shared, ladies and gentlemen. You see, one of the reasons that we know William Ruto could have successfully used to propel himself to power was the use of the church. And this was criticized by the Azimio people because they said that the church leaders were Chukua Pesa Sana from uh, William Ruto. So the question that begs here is that could it be that the church members or the church leaders are now realizing that they made a mistake? But if they are now realizing that they made, they made a mistake, are they to be blamed for this regime's messes? I think the churches are not supposed to, church leaders are not supposed to complain because they themselves are part and parcel of the mistake that is going on. Because they accepted bribes. They convinced their church members to vote in favor of UDA. So they don't have a right to complain. I think personally, I think they should just keep quiet because they cannot purport to say that they misled their congregancy to voting for someone they never wanted to be voted in. Because of course, if they used the money they were given to convince the congregants to vote in a particular direction, then that is a worse mistake. So I think Watokanisa need to give uh, Kenyans a break. I don't think it's right for them to start crying over spilled milk. Already, uh, William Ruta said that he's going to defy the court orders because he said that the judges were not elected. As if the judges were not elected, they are just being paid from a salary out of Kawaida. There was talk that at the, uh, the, the budget of us. Uh, Mata Gomez, uh, the budget of judiciary will be sliced simply because they made a ruling that is not favoring the government. So they are going to, to cut that budget by two, probably reducing the budget. That is some form of, of some, some, that is some kind of uh, punishing uh, these judges so that they can, you know, make particular decisions that are in line with what the government wants. So the churches are not supposed to complain. But nevertheless, they've already complained, talking about William Ruto not listening to them. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen, regarding that remark from the churches or the church leaders? Just go below the comment section and tell us whether you think the church leaders have a right to complain. I'm on Funga Dumba Kuli now Nyamazi because Walisha Shimba, Walisha Kula, they should keep quiet, maybe. So perhaps if you're watching this video and you've not subscribed, just take one second and subscribe, give this video a like. And uh, until you catch up again, please stay safe and stay blessed.